you can add two terms of a sequence or three terms or any finite number of terms. But how can you add all terms of a sequence? So how can you add infinitely many terms? In order to do so, we need series. You will encounter them a lot, um, for example, as uh, Taylor series. Before embarking on this big topic of series, we need the notion of partial sums, which we will introduce in this video. So, what is a partial sum of a sequence? So, suppose we have some sequence. I want to add the first four terms, so a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4, we can write it down as that. Uh, but that would be a bit inconvenient if you want to add, say, for example, the first 10 terms, that will become a very long expression. So what do we do instead? We use this sigma notation, sigma from re capital sigma from summation, n from 1 to 4, a n, which says sum from small n equals 1 to 4 the terms a n. So that's a shorthand notation writing a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. So, for example, if we have a n equals 2 n minus 1, and we want to add sum n equals 1 to 4 from a n, first we plug in n equals 1, we get a 1, then n equals 2, equal, then we get 3, we plug in n equals 3, we get 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 5, and n equals 4, we get 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 7, so well, we have to add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals 16. So we added the first four odd numbers. Now we can define the nth partial sum, well, similar to what we did before, but now we uh, sum up up to capital N. So we call that S capital N, the nth partial sum of a sequence, and it's the sum of the first capital N terms. So S1 is easy, just A1. S2 is the sum of the first two terms, A1 plus A2, and S3 equals A1 plus A2 plus A3. But in general, we want to find some expression for the capital N's partial sum. So can we find that, for example, for 2n minus 1? So the sum of the first n terms for 2n minus 1. Well, in fact, we can. We have to do some a little trick for that. So we add, on the, f uh, add the first capital N odd numbers. We can split the sum up and take the two in front to get 2 times the sum of uh, small n minus sum of 1. Well, this second sum is easy because that says 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, etc. n times, capital N times, so that will just be, uh, yield capital N as a sum. The first one is a bit more tricky, and we can ev evaluate, evaluate that. We'll use an example. Add the first 10, uh, first 10 terms first, or add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. So how can we do that? Well, the trick is to add the first and the last number, we get 11, and the 2 plus 9, then, and then 3 plus 8, again 11, 4 plus 7, again 11, and 5 plus 6, again 11. So we have 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11, and we have this 5 times, so we get 5 times 11 equals 55. And we can do that in general, of course, pick the first and the last one, yields n plus 1, then the second and the one before that yields another n plus 1. So we have uh, a number of factors n plus 1, and if you count carefully, you have n over 2 factors of capital N plus 1. So that's how you can uh, add uh, from n equals 1 to capital N, small n. And now we are able to compute our partial sum as capital N. We have two times uh, this one minus the other one, which was easier. So now we have an expression for this sum over here. It equals capital N over 2 times N minus 1, and the other one is just minus N. So what do we get? 2 times capital N over 2 equals N. So we get the N times N plus 1 equals N squared plus N, minus capital N equals N squared. So the sum of the first capital N odd numbers is capital N squared. And look, for example, over here, the first sum of the first four odd numbers equals indeed 16. So in this case, we are able to compute the nth partial sum.